going to go into a holding pattern here for a second and make sure everything goes okay. So, so far we seem to be well. I hope everyone is having a lovely Thursday. It's a lovely day here on the Central Coast of New South Wales. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. If you haven't been here before, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I make cards. I've been making a non-card this morning that I will uh, share with you. It's for someone, it's for a special birthday tomorrow. Hey Deb. Um, so all the products that I use today, unless I tell you, you can purchase from me and um, in my profile. I have links to my store and all of those things. Now today I do have a special guest with me so make sure you're coming in and saying hello because this special guest is itching to say hello to everyone and I just want to make sure I am live where I am meant to be but apparently things aren't working today. I know you're here, Deb. You're always on the ball. So if anyone else is in, I am live everywhere. That's awesome. I just wasn't live everywhere the first time I went live, which was not helpful. So my special guest today, come on in, special guest. Yeah. You're gonna have to crouch down a bit because you're a bit you're a bit too tall. <laughs> Ivy, my granddaughter, mm -hmm. has been here doing uh, some online learning and are we finished school for the day? Yes. yes. Nonna did not know. I didn't need to help today, did I? Not that much. Not that much. I had to help with the song. Yeah. We learned about some hygiene. So brushing our teeth, washing our hands. What yeah. else? Um, having a shower and a bath every day. Yep. And then we had to create a song. Yeah. I did none of the writing. I just made suggestions. Yeah. You wrote a very good song. But okay. oh, she's not going to perform it here live. No. No, because there, nice. there's just words, isn't yeah. there? Just words. No um no no music. Who else has popped on? Ah, who else has popped on to say her live? Hello. Oh, hey Donna. Hey Colleen. Yes, my special guest. So after we're finished here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go for a bike ride. Go, well, I'm going for a wheelchair ride I'm and going Ivy's ride. going for a bike ride. Yes. So, and we're going to go down to the shops. <laughs> She's got some money she'd like to spend. Or well, you can buy something sweet. Probably. Probably, of course. To rot those teeth. Yeah. Yeah. But I will brush them. You will brush them, good girl. And I was also talking about having water after you eat because that um, washes away the food debris so we don't. Oh, not my daughter, Cappy. My granddaughter. Not my daughter. Definitely. No. Yeah. I love you, but no. Yeah. No, you'd frustrate me a lot. And then we Probably. wouldn't have fun doing schoolwork together because I'd be your mum. Yeah. That's why my kids hate me helping with their schoolwork because I'm mum. It's just the way it works. Yeah. Okay, so today we spoke about... Ow, my hand hurts. Yes, my hand still hurts from when I thought I broke it on Friday. So today we're playing with the beauty of the earth paper. So I spoke about this in my video on Tuesday. You can sit on my knee if that's helpful. That's what Nonna's knees are for. Now you're at the perfect height. Um, so I have some cards that I've already created using Beauty of the Earth. So this one I use Beauty of the Earth and Inspiring, no, Inspiring Canopy and the Inspiring Thoughts um, stamp set. You can show the next one. Good this girl, one. big close. Oh, this one's a bit hard because yeah. you've got to put on a bit of an angle because I've got the um, evergreen, um, evergreen embossing folder. I think that's what it's called. Mm. Hello, Miss Maureen. Hey, Jane. Thank we've, you. We've for got this beautiful badger one. Beautiful, beautiful badger, and I've used the. Why do we like badgers so much? Hogwarts. Yeah, but what house are your mum and I in? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Yeah. That's why we she's, like it. She's got socks and a t-shirt and even um pajamas. Yep. She loves Hufflepuff. I swear I bought her a notebook. Have I given her that notebook? Yes, I gave her a notebook for yeah. her birthday. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and the wood grain in the background of the uh, Badger Besties, yes, Badger Besties card is the Beauty of the Earth. So I thought we will create another card today using Beauty of the Earth with my lovely sidekick here and we will see what we come up with. Hello, Mr. Linda. How are you? I have my Miss Congeniality here, so that's awesome. So we've got our screen up. Yes. What's the other thing that I always have to do? Do you remember? No, not really. I have to turn off the light switch. Can that be your job today? Yes. So the top, the top one, so we have no shadows. Hello, Ethel. Thank you so much. I was about to move your bottle. <laughs> we no no look at this guys we're matching today we didn't even organize it we didn't yeah. ring and make sure that what color water bottles we have shelly this is my granddaughter ivy so that's my little guest today we finished homeschooling early so we don't need to feel guilty at all do we no. because we're all done yeah. so let's flick you guys around and we will get started so i will go through can you move your water bottle um i will go through with you the papers and then we'll choose from there and actually i will need that box of cards because i forgot i do have Sorry, I just muted myself in trying to flick around my screen. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Thank you for joining. Okay, so this is my box of cards. And no, yes, I do have I do have Beauty of the Earth cards in here. Oh, that's Christmas, Beauty of the Earth, Beauty of the Earth. That is in the wild. Okay. So these must be all my Beauty of the Earth cards that I can show you. Okay, sit down. Oh, so you can, as long as I'm here, you can stand wherever you want. If yes. you would like to be my comment moderator, yeah. that will be awesome. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. I'm glad you're happy to be here. Hey, Cheryl, watch your letterbox. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm a good person and David actually did my mailing yesterday. So these are some other Beauty of the Earth cards I have done. Once again, I'm kind of obsessed with the... Um, trying to even find the stamp set. Inspired Thoughts. So I kept this really, really... Um, Oh, you got your big order today. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you could finish the star cards. Hello, Miss Carol. So the, this is a great way to show you all the patterns in the Beauty of the Earth set because I've pretty much used oh, all the exciting. patterns. Uh, yes, and Louisa may have been there as well. She was uh, the supporting act. So I think that's about 14 cards that I made in a recent team meeting. Uh, no, in a class that I did with those. <laughs> they can go over there. Can you please put these ones in the top of the box with the other cards thank you i've also grabbed out um and i was going to check the name but we kind of got distracted what were we distracted by ivy um, we were distracted by the olympics and what specifically were we watching the swimming the women's swimming no well it was in men's because because yeah. um yeah, he won he won silver didn't he Jet Zach Cook, he won silver. Was it Zach Cook? No, he's got double barrel name. Yeah. I can't think of the double barrel name, but he yeah. won gold, uh, silver in yeah. the 100 metre breaststroke. And yeah. Ivy was saying it's called Evergreen Border. And Ivy is just learning how to do the, the breaststroke kick. Yes. I'm just learning. She said it's a little hard, which I totally understand. I can't push. No. And what what makes perfect? Practice. Practice. That's right. 
Oh, good. Everyone's talking amongst yourselves. So in looking through these papers, we will decide what we want to use and where we want to go. Hello, Miss Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Thanks for joining. As always, love having you here. Now, this piece is really cool because I want to show you this piece. This piece is basically meant to be a cut apart piece I'm thinking that might look good with these so I'm going to pull out that hello Corinne I do have an echo I have an echo in the form of a granddaughter who is joining us today because unfortunately we are in lockdown for another four whole weeks and that means there's online learning and where did mum and Chris go? They had to go to get an ultrasound. Of what? Of the baby. Of the baby, super duper exciting and um, Ivy wasn't allowed in the room. No. So I, it is very sad but hopefully they'll get pictures. Yeah. I don't know if they get a video. I do, I do have some pictures though that I printed out and I laminated all of them. There's one where it looks like he's sticking up his finger. <laughs> he does. He does indeed. It's funny. Okay, so these are the patterns. So this is like this piece reminds me of looking up into the sky into a canopy. Yeah. It does? Autumn canopy. An autumn canopy. This is the other side. Once mm. again quite autonomous. Yeah. And this one kind of reminds me of our Japanese maple outside because the leaves go, it's very bare at the moment because yeah. it's the middle of winter, but the leaves go red. Yeah. I must say, this is probably not my favourite. It looks pretty though. It is pretty, but I love the blue on the background because it looks like clouds. Yeah, it does. It does. A small but cloudy sky. Yes, exactly. Like yeah. what Poppy and I walked through. Yeah. So this is like a winter forest. And then this is a great cut apart sheet. Like in the card I showed you, you can cut this into strips and you've just got little groves of trees. Yeah. And then we've got a very similar water water wash background then we've got this one this would be great to go with our punch as well it kind yes. of looks like a bunch of going, coming into autumn trees mushed together it does it looks yeah. like a proper forest and then we have that's the one in the background of the badger that's exactly right yes. and this is a watercolor a watercolor um wood grain so it's not meant to be realistic because all these papers are very watercolor-esque so I definitely think we're going to be using that but I have all six papers here so we can have a choice and I'm also going to grab out my little bunch of scraps and we'll see where we go ah awesome Corinne I'm happy um, I can help our baby and I'll call it our baby because I'm going to be a nonna again, um, is due in the middle of December. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. How many days, Ivy? 132, I think. Oh, see, someone's doing a countdown. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to reach around you there. Very so exciting. You, very, very exciting. Yeah, Siri so, every day. You are Siri every day. Oh, I thought you had a countdown app on your iPad or something. No, I ask how many days till December 12th and then she gives me the number. Uh, but you know the baby's likely not to come on the day. Yes, but it's like less or more. Less or more. Yeah. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Linda. This will be a bit looser than our um, normal lives but that's okay so what i'm thinking because this is a six by six piece of paper i'm going to just cut it in half at three inches so then that way we can get two cards and there's less wastage so i'm probably going to because we've got this lovely blue now what blue is it of course it is misty moonlight hello angie hey angie Ah, will be one. I'm a December 6th child, so I like Sagittarians. They're pretty awesome people. I have a lot of friends who are Sagittarians, to be precise. So I'm going to use this background because I've got it here as a scrap, and I think I'm going to go three 
and a half. Okay, and just to use it as a mat. So you kind of see where I'm going here. I know it's too long, but you kind of see where I'm going. So that looks good. Now this one, I'm just looking at scraps first. See, the green's not really going to work because we don't have any green in here. No. Ah, see, his must be a good egg, Angie. Must be a good egg. So we kind of have to stay away from the green. What I could do, I could cut this piece in half and then have a strip on either side. So we're still using the scrap, but it just won't be a full piece. Mm. Do you think that'll work, Ivy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so we'll cut this in half. Because using scraps is a good thing. You say you reuse. Yep. And then I have two less pieces of scrap in here. Uh, I'm got, uh, well, you wouldn't be married to him if that wasn't the case. Okay, so I've got those two pieces. And they may even form a wider piece. We will wait and see. Now, if we were to do these, did we want to highlight the blue or what colour do you want to highlight in here, Ivy? I'd say the blue. You'd say the blue? Yeah. Okay, so let's grab down some Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight, that's a good name. It is a good name. Do you know that Stampin' Up! has a whole naming committee? So we get like five new colours every year and the in our in colours. And all, like, all of them have got names. Yeah. Well, they're a bit hard to read because they're mm. but like Poppy Parade, Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Mellow Mambo. Gorgeous Grape. Or Gorgeous Grape. We used some purples today, didn't we? Yes. I could Delinda, but I don't have anything quite dark enough. And I'll show you. <clears throat> right, can you put that in the scrap container? Scrap I, container. Which is here. So when I, these are my two blue patterns, right, Delinda. So when I put, like, when I just put these pieces next to the blue, I don't think, I don't think they're light enough. So what I'm looking for is more this darker, darker green. I hope I'm making sense showing you this. I just think these are a bit too washed out. They are a shade of Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy, but I think I just prefer this darker shade. Yeah. You concur. I like that. Apparently, recently, I've been teaching Ivy quite a lot about card making. Yes. And we've still got to make a card for Dad. Yeah. Where did that, did that fly off? You're not going to, maybe you won't be able to find it. Found it. Found it? Yeah. You can put them all in. Yeah. Since you lost it. Nah. Creating an avalanche. Right. So I don't need my trimmer for the moment. And we're going to use this water punch. So currently this punch is locked because the way I store it on my rail. So you've just got to move this to pop it open and unlock it. Otherwise you can't get the paper in because of this. Okay, no one else has made any comments. Nope. Okay, so what we want to do to punch, we want to pop this flush against this edge here. And what I want to do is just, so we what we can actually do, oh, I should be standing up to do that. So you can see, we get these. Now, you can you just use these as one little four, four of these, or I need my dish. Dish, dish, my scraps dish. Or you can, thank you, sweetheart, or you can pop it in again, and all you have to do, oh, 
Did I put it upside down? I think I may have. No. Nope. So that punched that way. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay. So then what you do, see how you've got these printouts on the side? You match your punch out with the printing and you punch again and besides that teeny tiny piece you create a whole forest a whole forest a whole forest line of trees and these remind me i don't know if you're old enough to remember hello miss louisa are you joining the party Oh, that was a better one. Um, these trees remind me of the trees as you drive into Tumbarumba, where they have the pine forests. Do you remember going to visit where Granny lives no. or lived? No. no. No? So where my husband grew up. So I can also go back and do this piece. So just in case you... Oi, under here. Come on. Come on, sit down. She sit. Likes under the desk. That is her favourite or one of her favourite spots. The mm. other, the other humans mustn't be paying her any attention at all, which is why she came in here to visit us. But we must pay attention. No, no, no. I think she just likes to be close to her humans. Beverly. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Dion. Oh, you're getting hello, Ivy. Hello. Okay, so we have created this strip, and this was just a scrap. Oh, look at all our trees. I know you want to help, but you're at the wrong angle. <laughs> Easier for me to do it. Well, I will take all these scraps because I can use them. Oh, you can use them? Yes. Right. So does that mean I need to get your paper bag? Yes. Right. I can use them in my own design. In her own design. Okay. So now we have our grover trees. And I'm thinking our grover trees, I was thinking maybe it should go at the bottom, but I'm thinking it ow, <laughs> It should be connected with our sentiment. Yeah. So... So this stamp set, unfortunately, or this punch, unfortunately goes with the Christmas stamp set. I'm not looking for a Christmas theme, but this punch and this stamp set go together as a bundle. So I'm going to go with my ever favourite sentiment set. Yeah, the trees are nice. They, they are very nice. And this is the first time I've used them. So I think I did very well punching because it's my first time. So thank you for being here to hold my hand. Um, you can always use the scraps. Yes. Yeah. So I was thinking of going with Inspired Thoughts because it has some longer linear um, sentiments that I could nest the trees on top of. So, and I just love it. It's a really good all-round stamp set. And the fact is I can use this one punch, the everyday label punch, with every sentiment in here. I know I keep on using it, but I do love it. Hello, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. I hope you're feeling better today, your mic. Um, do we use this and pick... Two, two sentiments that you may want to use on these cards. Hmm. So it's not your guy's choice today, sorry. It's Ivy's choice. Hey, Leanne, how are you? Sorry, I missed your comment there for a second. Ivy, eyes off the screen. This one. Make you make, make a difference it. every day. Yeah. And what's your second choice? Um, thinking of you on your special day. Okay, good day. One of these cards. Okay, cool. So we'll take off, make a difference, and thinking of you on your special day. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, smallsome. And what I might do, because you make a difference every day, is a bit of a smaller sentiment. I may show you, I will show you how you can make this 
smaller so you don't have to use it at full width you can make it smaller so I'll show you some tips and tricks Yay. okay that can go over there now what color do you think we should stamp with I have an idea but we're, so we're using the misty moonlight yeah we have used the early espresso in here so we've picked up on all the tree trunks what what other colour would you like to highlight? Hmm. Maybe the red. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So we need to find the Merry Merlot. Maybe Can you Merlot. see it? Here we go. Awesome. And I need to grab our Whisper White scraps. So essentially these cards are going to be very simple. Just with the sentiment element and then the punch out element. And the pattern paper really does all the work for us. Yeah. Hello, Linda. I'll grab the trees. You can make this small so you don't have to use your phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Janine. How are you? Sorry, having a drink break, feeling a bit dry. I'm doing great. Love the colours. I love the colours in this too. Even it's, though we're in winter, yeah. it kind of matches our yeah. min winter. Cause and they just work great together. They do. It's like they reflect upon each other, their greatness. <laughs> um, the other thing is, even if you don't like the leaf paper, Stampin' Up, can you grab the pack of paper from behind you? Stampin' Up have put together a colour palette so the the colours are on uh, the back the backer sheet Stampin' Up have given you a colour palette that is guaranteed to work together so you don't have to um you don't have to think you can just use those colours for whatever project you want okay so we will go one. So put one on. Good work having big drinks. Yeah. Uh, is that better because it's a clear bottle? Yes. You can see how much you're drinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at us gazing a bit at each other. No. Okay. So there we go. We're back up and running, I think. So I'm going to move... These things, and there is no big shot. Uh, there is no oh, wash my mouth out with soap. There is no stamparabas. Let me try that all over again. There is no stamp and cut and emboss machine because Ivy and I have already I have already used the mini one. Yes. While Ivy was doing her work, I was making a birthday present. Okay, so. I have used all of these so they don't. Yes, that's what Ivy's going to do. Yeah. Turn it the other way. And then they look no, like. No, no, turn it the other way. And they look like treats. Yeah. So there you go. So if you wanted to, you can just with your scissors do some jagged edges. But I think that's yeah. what Ivy's going to do. Yeah. So I won't. Tree. Tree. Yeah. Nice catch there, Angie. See, I love that we're always, as a group, thinking of cool things. Okay. Because we're cool people. Absolutely. And we all do things. Thank you, Cindy. Slightly differently. Ah, uh, you missed her gorgeous face earlier. After I finish this, you'll have to go back and watch the replay and I... Ivy's gorgeous face is at the start. So hello, Miss Cindy. I miss seeing oh. your face. Cindy's one of my lovely friends. She's got a wicked sense of humour. She'll sit there and sit there and sit there listening to other people chat and then she'll just come out with these brilliant one-liners <laughs> and it makes everyone lose it. Okay, so they are actually really nice. Now, if I wanted these line um, sentiments to be a bit bolder, I could have used the Stamparatus and stamped them 
two or three times just to make them bolder, but I'm actually really, really happy with those. <sighs> my my multi-purpose. You're doing well. Thank you. Do you want me to do that? Are no. you good? Then that way no one gets inky hands. Okay, they can go over here so we don't get inky hands. So Mary Merlot. Yes. And now we're going it's to it's punch. So I am going to make this smaller. So the sentiment seems to swim on here. Yes. But I will make sure I line it up as best as I can in the middle because I am apparently having straightness issues today. And we are going to um, trim this down because unfortunately the gift that I made, there are things that happen to be crooked. Yes, but crooked in. gives it style. Yep, so Ivy says. So with this one, I am... Can you let Louisa out, please? Yes. She finally oinked. I don't know if you guys actually heard that. She wants to be outside because Daddy's outside. Now, I'm thinking I might do this one a little bit differently. Eh. What? I'm... Yes, I'm thinking I'm going to do this one this way. Hang on, I can't use that hand. I need to go back to the doctors. I'll go back on the weekend because my hand is still very, very sore. But the x-ray looked good, but the, path, uh, the radiology people or the radiologist wasn't going to read the report until Monday. Okay, so we have this one. This is all lovely and nice. Yes. Now, what we could just do is cut it straight along the top and then, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, now that's giving us ideas, isn't it? But yes. we haven't got the knobbly bit on the top. No. But what I could do is cut it straight across there and then put that on. Oh, no, because then it would sit off, maybe. Maybe we just leave that as it is. Oh, I was going to show you. So I can show you without actually punching. So what I would do if I wanted my decorative top, as I get a tremor here, is... Yeah. I'm going to pop it back through this way and I want to, and what I do is I bend the paper up so you can see here, I'll sh even push it up a little further. So do you want to do that or do you want to keep it as it is? So you can see visually where I was going or do you, or do you want to leave it as we've punched it? Let's leave it as we punch. Yeah, but you can see that we're using this punch. You can make a teeny punch. Yes. Hello, Chris. Hello, Marjean. How are you? The other little voice you are hearing is Miss Ivy, who is joining us today. Okay, so my other question is, and this is a choice for Ivy, do I cut like from there to there or do I... No, I don't like that on top. Nice. So I definitely will trim it. Yeah, trim it. Trim it? Yeah. Trim one, leave the other. But you guys will see on a tree. It is a tree banner, Miss Cindy. So what I am doing here, hopefully you guys can see, I am just joining up the two... Yeah, the two points. So I'm slightly off. Oh, that was my belly. That's better. Yes. So you can see here, I've just cut off. Where'd it go? So I've just cut off that piece, and I'll do the end. Do the same thing on the other end, just to create a different type of label. 
to Linda Luhu. I love that. I love that you guys have pet names for each other. It's very sweet. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's not doing what I want it to. Oh, now it almost is. No, it's being, it's being very horrible here. Why is it some days it just all works and on other days you've got to use a titch more persuasion? They can't see your fingers. I know. I'm just going to do it. It's fine. Ah! Right. <laughs> done right so now we have that label and we'll pop the trees on the top of that label perfect yep. awesome now we have to think about colored co color of the card bases thank you in the recycling bin okay so miss ivy yeah. should we use merry merlot card bases should we see what that looks like? Yeah. We could use white, but I'm thinking we'd be using the three colours then. So, a Mary I know. Um, I think because it was an exclusive celebration offer, they generally don't have exclusive offers available to the general customer base sorry i had to think of the correct wording now that is the stamp set that i used okay so we need two cards so i have one piece let's have a look at this i think this will work really well this reminds me of my winter tie for does that work well, Ivy? Yeah. Yep. So that I normally well. check my colours before I make commitments and it's just doing all the checking all the way along just to make sure we're on the right track. Yeah, just to make sure everything looks good. Yeah, and, and quite often... Like, it matches together. Yep. Ah, thank yeah. you, Glenda. Glenda, did I see you sneak in? Or have you been sitting there in silence? I swear I didn't say hello to you today. So hello. Yes, yeah, so um, for those who weren't here earlier, we are in lockdown for another four weeks. Miss Ivy's birthday will be in lockdown as Lavender's is tomorrow. Now, I have some news for you girls. I will not be here next Thursday. I have some commitments uh, for the high school, all via Zoom, so it's all legitimate, and I'm not putting anyone at risk. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Now, do you know which way to fold it? Do I fold it with the valley on the inside, or do I fold it with the mountain on the inside? Mount what valley on the inside? No, with the oh, mountain okay. on the inside, because I've already made it going that way. Yeah. So it folds easier and you'll get a better fold you fold if like you have that. the mountain on the inside. Yes, just like that. Ah. Yeah. So you will see um, my nails progressively get more and more manky as the month goes on because it's already been like six weeks and I have cut them myself because they were getting very very long my eyebrows are getting very very hairy my legs are getting very very hairy because I'm a waxing kind of gal um, my beautician and I were having a chitter chat last night and she said if you're running any, out of any products we can do a contactless contact list delivery how why is that word so hard to say contactless it's hard isn't it yeah your tongue has to be in lots of different yeah. positions contactless <laughs> yes you go for it you go from a t to a l yeah and that's hard it is okay so this one strip will do us for more than both the cards and then i think ivy 
will be taking the spoils home. Yes. So we know these pieces are too long for the card and that is perfectly fine. Yes. Now, Ivy, you have a choice. Are we cutting off the white or are we cutting off the colour? The white. The white. Yes. Okay, so I will glue these together. She's very good and very definite about her opinions. She's nothing like her nonna at all. I'm so not definite about my opinions at all, am I, Ivy? No. Are we lying? I'm not sure. I'm very definite with my opinions. If I don't like something, I will always be very honest and go, no, I don't like that. I don't think that works. All of those things. And I added glue too high on that. So just in case... I am going to have my silicone mat. Hello, Miss Monica. You are sneaking in late, but were you working today? Are you here on your lunch break? I also have... You can always re-watch it. You, I've got the perfect PR consultant here. We also have to remind them, if they haven't watched before, to make sure they subscribe, like, yes. hit the bell, follow me in all the places so they don't miss out on my videos and my projects because the videos are cool very cool yeah but i learn about how to make cool things but i also show you behind the scenes photos yeah and um i share some cute crafting memes and just life quotes yeah. um i show i share lots of things and I share projects that I don't do videos for. So I know at the moment it seems like there's a lot that I'm not sharing. But that's because I'm playing with new catalogue things. So we have this paper sale that is... Oh, thank you. It's just on my leg. Um, we have this paper sale. So at the moment you get 15% off this paper. And that ends on the 2nd of August and then on the 3rd of August we have the new catalogue along with celebration launching so I've been working behind the scenes to get some things up and running so on the 3rd of August we will have a catalogue tour Ooh. oh you are house working that is not what we want to be doing but it just needs to be done, doesn't it, Monica? Um, so, yes, I will be doing a catalogue tour of both the mini catalogue and the celebration catalogue. So we can um, go have a look and a chat and opinions about that. Okay, so that's one card base done. You reading all the sentiments? Yes. Right. Because they're good. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Laura. What, when are they, uh, we have it in, in Australia. So I don't know, Laura. We do not have that supply issue happening in Australia, sadly. Sad for you guys because I love that paper. Cindy Lou Who, you two are so cute together. Do you know what, Ivy? It might be an idea that we just cut this piece in half because otherwise if we use them like side by side, I'll show you. If we use them side by side, they're going to overlap, which will create a lump that we don't want. Yeah, okay. So do you want to pop that in the scraps? I've got a couple of pieces there for scraps. Yeah, they are pretty stamped. So I think she's working out what sentiment she might want to use on cards next time we card make because yes. there's no time for individual card making today. It's just this card making and then a bike ride. Yes. And then we'll see what happens, hey? Yep. So, yeah. It's very fun making cards. It is. And it's good that one of these cards will go to Dad. 
Yes. 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 Very good. Because her dad's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So how old will we be? I don't know. Okay. I think 37. You think 37? Yes. I don't know. No. I can't remember. I can't remember. I either. can't remember. Uh, no. I'm good with faces and names, but with So how age, old's mum? She is 34. Oh, your mum's going to love you. No, she's not. I don't know. She's 35. It's close. Yep. I don't know that we should be disclosing these ages, but, you know, if they're not here to defend themselves or say you can't do that. We are charged up. Uh, yes, I am charged up. Good. Well, I didn't recharge it last night and it's actually sitting outside because story um. time, people, story time. There was an incident yesterday. You know, nothing ever goes smoothly for me. Um, we're riding along and Louisa's, Louisa really got up some speed yesterday because David and Louisa and I went for a walk. And I'm there going, I can smell a smell. And what was that smell? Poop. Yeah, of the dog variety. I had rolled over dog poop and it was stuck oh. in my wheel. Oh, no. That happened to my shoe. Yeah. So I'm oh, thanking cool. God it wasn't my shoe, actually. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're just we're just sticking these down approximately equal. So we're being frugal with our scrap. So we've made them roughly even. Or, no, I say roughly. Yeah, roughly. Still good. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, but do you know what I could do? Yeah, I could always take a, a slither off the other side. Yeah. Is close enough good enough or do I need close to? Close enough is good enough. Okay, well, this will be your dad's one then, won't it? Yes. <laughs> your, Ivy, your mum is younger than my eldest son. But I can guarantee you, Cindy, you are younger than Ivy's grandmother, other grandmother, because you have three. Yes, yes, I have three. You do. You're very lucky. Um. So yes, Cindy, you are definitely younger than Ivy than Thea's mum. Well, technically five if you count Chris's and Kate's, but if you only count mum's and well, dad's, then yeah. that's three. Yeah. Three. Well, they are family by association because, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, everyone's engaged. Yeah. Dad's engaged. Mum's engaged. Mm -hmm. Like, when are they just going to get married? I know we're in lockdown, but they've been engaged for a long time. Who? Mum and, we well, know, Dad and Kate. They've well, been you for a very long need time. to talk to Dad and Kate about that because yeah. I have no answers for you there. But they have been engaged for a very long time. I reckon mum and Chris will get married before dad and Kate. Mm. No, we them. don't have skunks in Australia, Cindy. No. I'm actually kind of glad we don't because yes. they sound like a very vindictive kind of animal. Yeah. And nothing like Pepe Le Pew, Pepe Le Pew oh, yes. from... Looney Tunes. Yes, the French skunk. Yes. Who they no longer show. Yes. Because he was showed traits that are no longer socially acceptable. Yes, grandmas are the best thing in the world. Yep. But nonnas are even better. Yes. Ah, yes, I'm her favourite. Like, I would never ask Ivy to choose favourites because... Yes, I am helping Nana. Grandma, mm -hmm. she's a really good baker. Yes. Isn't she? She's a good sewer. She is a good sewer. She won, like, um, third, second and first in the quilt competitions before lockdown in the Easter show with her really? quilts. Really? Yes. I didn't even know that. Yes, she's a very good... And Ingi is very good with stories and gardening. Gardening, yes. Ingi is very won, good at that. When, one time when we walked to my school, when, like, 
she was picking out all the um weeds in the front of it. Of the school? Yes. Isn't that Mr Curry's job? Yes, Mr but... Curry's done a very good job of lawn mowing, I yeah. noticed yesterday. But yeah, she or she will pick weeds from anywhere. Oh, that's that's lovely. Yes, poisonous reptiles, no. Skunks, yes. Like, and uh, skunks you can wash. No, you can't. You you, you wait till skunks are very hard to remove the smell, aren't they? Mm. Uh, yeah, but, okay, Cindy, we live close to the bush, don't we, Ivy? Because yes. Ivy lives just uh, one, two, one, two. Well, there are two streets in between you and me. Yes. Yes. So Ivy and I live very close to each other. Mm -hmm. And I can ride to my house. You can ride to my house. I have not, and now this will happen because I hate them with a passion, I don't see snakes. in. Other people have seen snakes, but I haven't seen a snake in my yard. Mm. I reckon the chickens, your chickens, would scare off any snakes. Probably. Okay, what are we thinking of this, Ivy? Which, which one was the one who was a really... Who was really good at making you laugh? Who? Cindy. Yes. I don't have yes, grandchildren. Yes, the smell is them. hard to get rid yes. of. I don't think... have grandchildren, only minions. <laughs> that is very true, Cindy. Well, look, she's already turned off the light for me. She's an absolute minion, as are children. As are children when they get older. Yes, yes the smell is hard to get rid of. Poppy, are you Okay. Ivy, yes. you what? didn't shut the door properly. Poppy just walked into the door. No, I thought I closed it. No. No. Did you hit your head? No. Just your foot? Awesome. So now we want to... There we go. Yes. Although I don't like the edge. I'm very tempted. To cut off the edge? Yeah, to cut off the edge. Yeah, maybe do it. If you cut off the edge, then that'd look better. So. Yeah, it looks a bit like the other side's fine. The other side's fine because it's just cutting off the edge, but that little edge looked weird. Okay, so I've got one sentiment done. And no, David walked into the back door. Yes. And I he didn't have a drink in his hand, unlike my birthday a couple of years ago, where he had a glass of red wine and red wine went everywhere and all my friends were here and they was all that the went one with the flying. Candy buffet? That was the one with the candy bar, yes. Oh, I love that candy bar. That was good candy bar. That was a good candy bar. Okay, so for this one, Ivy, your choice yes. for this one. So do you think we should put these trees on dimensionals so they're popping up or stick them straight on? Dimensionals. Dimensionals, that's yeah. what I thought too. And then I tell you, my tummy is getting very hungry. And I'm going to go grandmother now. Or there's the stuff in the, if you wait... I can either make you scrambled eggs or you can have your hummus and bickies. Yeah, You'll have your banana. Okay. And then you can still have hummus. Yes. Oh. Oh. Cindy. No. Okay. What I am going to do, though, is... Hey, Bev. How are you? How's Canberra today? What's temperature? Because Canberra is always really cold. I, my great aunt and my cousin or cousins used to live in Canberra. And it's always really, really cold. I remember like me going to the movies and it was like half a degree. It was 
freezing. I can't even tell you what movie we were going to watch, but it was like half a oh, that's a good idea. I could do you apple with your hummus. Oh, yes. So we're going to try that, Cindy. Thank yes. you for that suggestion. I Thank do you have very much. apples in the fridge that need to be eaten. Exactly, Angie. I agree. The my Stampin' Up friends from the last ten years, because I've been a demo. Well, I've been a demo for ten. I've been around Stampin' Up for nearly sixteen years. So I've got some um, just. They're not demonstrators, but just Stampin' Up friends who I wouldn't switch for the world, and I wouldn't actually meet them if it wasn't for Stampin' Up. Now putting dimensionals on here is a bit difficult so we're just hoping that this is going to keep them up. And I think they're connected enough that they shouldn't flap around. I think so it will work. You think it will work? Yeah. I'm going to With get our card base and pop it and pop it up. Um, Are those full length ones the ones you want, or do you want that you don't want the little ones, or you do? Oh, I'm okay with these ones. Okay, cool, because I'm just going to add more rubbish to the dish. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, don't put them don't in. Put them in. Uh, they're for you to keep your ning nong. Uh, currently, 12.7 feels like 8.3. It's definitely a cold place, but it's beautiful blue sky. Okay, that's what we've got today. I don't know what the temperature is. Um, hey, Google, what's the weather? Currently in Narara, it's 16 degrees and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 18 and a low of 4. There you go. Hopefully you all heard that so I don't have to repeat it. And that is, look, Google isn't my favourite place to give me the temperature. I prefer using an app on my phone that seems to give more accurate temperatures. You're an SU groupie. I hear you. I hear you. actually have an SU meeting tonight. Well, I had the choice of two meeting times and you should all feel very special because I had a meeting time of 12 or a meeting time of 6 and I chose 12. Oh, no, sorry, I six. chose 6 because I was here with you guys at 12. Okay, now I'm lining up the sides. Overnight rain helps me sleep. So oh, yeah. yes. Did we, did we have rain last night? I think so. Or did we just have wind? I think we had wind. We definitely have wind. Oh, has the did Cooper get the mouse? Get the mouse. We don't know, but I can smell something in the garage and in the um house. So something's dead. Yeah, something's definitely there. Okay, radio. But I so I'm hurt. I'm thinking definitely. I don't know. I feel like we need something behind these. What What are you thinking, Ivy? I don't know. Well, we've been going just on an hour. Do you feel these need something behind them? Or they just need to be lifted up? You know what I'm kind of thinking, don't you? It was something we played with earlier that really made the birthday present. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, vellum is always the answer, my friends. Yes. So, shame that I don't have any pre-done circles. Oh, and also ribbon. Ribbon. Um, no. Okay. So, I have, if I put down the vellum, I do actually have a denim ribbon. That may work. Denim. denim. So mm, it's kind of roughly the right. Note I say kind of roughly. Yeah. I just, I don't know if it's too different or not. What do you think, Ivy? Or do you think Bellum is the answer? 
I'd say Vellum is the answer. Vellum is the answer. Ribbon's a good idea, but I think Vellum would work with this particular card. Very good. Well, it's actually quite dry here at the moment. We haven't had much rain. We had a lot of summer rain. So, okay. So, Ribbon can go away. And, oh, you're Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Right, sorry, <laughs> just what you just missed off screen is the end of Ivy's uh, hoodie got caught on me and then I realised they weren't even, so I had to I had to fix them. Yes. Okay, so we need uh, the very heavy box. We need my, I'm thinking maybe circles. Or maybe yes, I could. Card, card. Maybe oh, so we can use circles. You know, circles are always good. Yeah. Or I could grab out. So, Poppy's apparently made lunch, yeah. but not for you. No. No. He's made lunch for Owen. And lavender. Yes. Or I could grab out new ones, and. See, that one works. Yeah, it only works. Where's the other one though? Will it work for both of them? Yes, it will. So we're going to yes. go with these are new. I know it's only going to be a few days until you can get the seasonal labels. Hang on, pop this back. Okay, lift by the handles or by underneath. Good girl. You can see where it goes. Huh? There's a whole gap right there. I just saw it. Oh, geez. I had help this one. Yes, a vellum tree overlay would look very well, good as well. But I just want something between the paper and the label because it's looking a little stark. Yeah. Thank you. But yes, a vellum. Vellum would work good. I mean, um. Yes, vellum trees would work well, yeah. but just not today because then it adds a layer without yes. adding a layer. So it's always so hard to pick up. Do you know what I generally do? I put them to the edge and then I pick them up that way because yeah. that's called playing smart, not hard. Yes. Just saying. Um, I need it with. Yeah, there's some inches here. Yeah, two inches enough. No, it needs to be two and a half. There we go. So one strip should hopefully do both. Yes. And then we're calling me done because I don't really don't think we need any sparkleish embellishment. So we're going to use. A mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Right. Apparently, I don't have Go Go Gadget arms. As crank or like that. Yes, you can crank. Just let me get it working, and you can absolutely crank. Crank. Okay, go. You don't have to put your hand on the top. Perfect. There we go. Can you keep cranking? Thank you. So we have one. Can you snip snip that please? Because you can't with this machine doesn't like anything hanging off the front. So I just find it more manageable to get rid of the excess. <gasps> Bin, please. Bin. Oh, yeah. Right beside you. Put it in the bin. Mm -hmm. Are you cranking again? Yes. Hand on top. Oh no, Cindy. 
Oh my dear word. So how do you reckon they'll sell it, the yard sale? Do you think you've got enough crafty people in the area to um, to have them sell? Okay, Ivy. Yes. Flaps up and pop it away. Good. Loud. It is loud. Very loud. I'm just going to pop. Okay, can you... Okay, Ivy's reading comments and not helping. She's given up. No, she hasn't. Okay, so Louisa just got a treat. Can you smell the blueberry? No. No? I can't smell the blueberry. Huh. Oh, wait, there it is. Yep. Let's smell it now. Okay, now, following my own rule of not using um, wet glue yes. on... Vellum. On vellum, otherwise it buckles. And I'm just going to pop this down here. Okay. So then when we, which one we, did we say was for Dad? This one. Then when we put that one there, that looks better, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. We'll still pop it on dimensionals. Could have put, popped that bit on dimensionals, but you know. Vellum works. And then we're going to pop this piece on. What's wrong? It's blue. It is. Well, the, the case inside of it is blue, yes. but the um, adhesive is not blue. Nope. Nope. Okay. It would be cool if it was blue, though. It would be, but it, alas, it is not. not. Okay. So, oh, and we have a Miss Louisa coming because Poppy has gone outside and not invited her with me or she took too long to react. Come on, Miss. No, I just want love from Miss Louisa. I uh, miss Ivy. See, the problem is no, Ivy and Louisa share a name, don't you? Yes. Yes. So... They share a name, so it sometimes gets a bit confusing because I often use Ivy's full name mm -hmm. and then I go to call Louisa Ivy. Mm -hmm. She is. She's very, very good. Furniture, books, it's about 20 block area and you're on the list. Awesome. It's down, Louisa. Need to add ribbon also. Oh, to the sale, not to the card. Okay. Oh, well, hopefully you and Eric will have a much clearer basement and um, just be a little bit more organised. Um, what was all the huffing and puffing about, Missy? It was a bit excessive. Sorry, I'm just lining this up and then we are calling these cards done. Are you calling them done, Ivy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, two cards. Need to cap our blue back and I will show you. Can I cap the blue? Or you? I've already got there. You're offered too late. I was already in the process. Okay, so we have used the beauty of the earth paper. Oh, we need to get the whole thing. It's on your chair. Um, Beauty of the Earth paper. We've used the Evergreen Border Punch. We have used the Everyday Label Punch. Do you know what? I don't need the vellum. Mm -hmm. You can put the scrap piece back in, though. Which scrap piece? The scrap piece on top. We have used the soon coming soon seasonal labels which are great not just for Christmas, but they are also, it's just very leafy and naturey. Yeah. So that went really, really well. So these are in the catalogue. So, yeah, inspired thoughts with yep. the soon-to-come seasonable labels. Yep, the dyes. Oh, yep. just sit down, you mean not. We've got these and these. Yep, the everyday label, the evergreen... Border, border, border punch. Yes. 
And, and with those, they come into this. They do. Thank you so much for your help. Did it's you fun. enjoy that? Yes, it was yes. fun to help. It was fun. Awesome. I'm so glad. Yes, that's exactly what she is. And then we just happened to get, like, we didn't name Louisa. We came that way. And then Ivy came in and went, oi, she stole my name. Do you remember saying that? Yes. You do. Is that your hair caught around there? No, it's not mine. It's mum's. Oh, right. I need to get that off. Right. My pleasure, Monica. Thank you guys so much. If you want to purchase any of these products, please head to my store yes. and or contact me and I can organise to get them to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, next week, I will be back next Tuesday and next Friday because Thursday I have a prior engagement. So next... Yeah, they can't see your hand. You've got to be here. 